Welcome back to another Dead Cells episode. Anyways, on the last video, I didn't even make it past the rampart, so I'm promising y'all that today I will. Also, last time I unlocked Bobby's outfit from these fun guys that I fought, and I think I remember from that guy Glenn's videos that the Bobby outfit has some sort of significance to the history of the game. All that yapping to basically explain that as soon as this round started, I went to the tailor, who now has a daughter apparently, to get my fit right. <laughs> Also, thanks to the fact that I got the training key in the last episode, I can now go into the training room. Here I found the dead woman who has apparently become our sensei now. And as much as I like a good shonen training arc as much as the next guy, uh, I'm probably not going to put that on camera because it's kind of boring. One thing the training room did show me is that I still have a long way to go when it comes to discovering things in this game. This kind of looks like that one scene in Friends where Monica has a turkey on her head, but based on the dialogue, I'd say it's more of a Starro situation. Well, that's my cue to leave. Before you rush to the comment section, yes, I did find those hidden blueprints later on. If this is a game reference, man, I got no clue. Also, I found a little teaser for the DLC. Quick question for the audience, if I play the DLC after I beat the game, is it not worth it anymore? I missed a lore room. No! I'll be back. Anyways, this run I decided to explore the ossuary since I just unlocked a new room. Hoo hoo hoo, this place has quite the entrance. Sonic! And now a Fanta dispenser? Wow, this place has weird stuff. Just gotta fight them till they're out of juice. Pun intended. Whee! All right, let's do this. Okay, never mind. That was a rune, wasn't it? I found a secret area! After a round in Bobby's fit, I think I like the baguette fit better. Why did this guy keep disappearing while I was fighting them? Can they do that? Oh, oh man, those glitches are terrible. Oh, it made me feel weird. From a pan to a sword to a pan to a sword. Zoom. All right, next run for sure. This has to be my favorite altar, by far. And it came with an even better power up, check this out. I'm the chicken man! Scramble him up. I took this mutation this run, but honestly, having a second life feels kind of cheaty, so I don't know about how I feel about it. And I finally killed the Animal Jam Phantoms, and it got me a fresh new suit. Anyways, the promenade didn't prove too much of a challenge this run, and I made it to the ramparts. In the ramparts, I ended up replacing my Puyo power for an ice grenade, but I ended up going back for it because it was just more fun to use. As Han Solo once said, I prefer a straight fight to all this sneaking around, but in this round, I used tactics and I actually really liked it. Ah, Tom, the master of shrooms. I wonder if he's responsible for those fun guys I found earlier. 
Anyways, I got an upgrade for my sinew slicer and accidentally triggered a Poyo event while I was at it. Is this it? Have I defeated the ramparts? Oh, it is. Let's go. Okay. This flat open area is a dead giveaway. This has to be a boss fight. Oh, yep. The concierge? What does that even mean? A hotel employee? Why is he fighting me then? Y'all, I must have messed up his Airbnb. Man, this dude dropped so much loot, I don't even know what to do with this. I also got a rune that lets me do daily challenges. See you. Hey, how'd he know I was 5'4"? Anyways, it seems the blacksmith here can permanently upgrade my starter gear, but his upgrades sure are expensive. Strangely, after I healed, I uh, had a choice between three different places to go instead of just one. I couldn't go to this bottom area though because I didn't have the rune, I'm assuming because I didn't get it from the ossuary. But I ended up just going to Stilt Village. Uh, I don't know what made me choose it over everything else, but I chose it. Two lore rooms in a single run? Man, I'm really off my game today. Aw, oh, sweet. This game has pirates. He's no pirate king, though. Is that a crab samurai? They're evolving. Man, I can't stand guys who shoot other guys at you. Ugh. Just finished watching the Cell Saga. Ugh, flashbacks. Oh, I popped a totem. I guess having that second life really came in handy after all. This village seems to have a lot of doors that either lead to extra challenges or loot rooms, like in this case. As hard as I tried, I couldn't seem to get past this door, even trying to jump over it using this route here. But I didn't have enough jump in me, I guess. So I went back into the village to search for one. The room I was looking for conveniently had a key sign outside of it. know I had to use the Poyo power! I managed to unlock that door but shortly after my luck ran out. But that seems like a good place to stop today. Thank you for watching. Bye!